Hi, this is Joseph Liberty, Chief Operating Officer at Better Business Planning. Today we're going to talk about a 5500 form that's required by the federal government. Not all companies are required to file a 5500. It only impacts companies that have 100 or more participants on a health and welfare program. Health and welfare programs meaning medical, life, dental, vision, disability plans. There is also a form for pension plans, but we're not talking about that today in this video, just strictly about the welfare programs. Many firms have never filled out a 5500 just due to the fact that they don't have enough employees, but sometimes you will have less than 100, but then at the beginning of the plan year, your company may grow and you may hit that magic number. If you do, typically the insurance company that's providing the uh, insurance on the program will s fill out that 5500 information and send it to you. But it's, it's your responsibility as an employer to make sure that you file the 5500 report. At Better Business Planning, we have a service where we'll complete the 5500 form for you, um, for a fee. Um, but it's, uh, it's something that definitely makes it easier. So if you are a company that have never filled out a 5500 form and you have more than 100 people enrolled on a benefit program, you may want to check with us or call to find out if you're required to, to file. The filing date for something like this, and this is a good one so I have to read it, it is the last day of the seventh month following the end of the plan year. That's government for you. But that's the requirement in terms of when you're supposed to file. Again, for most of you watching, if you have less than 100 employees, this isn't something to be concerned about. But if you do have 100 or more and you've never filed, please reach out to us so we can help you to make sure that you get this done. Thanks for watching.